Good Thursday morning. Welcome to Ice Age TV. And look how green that grass is. Wow. It's October and we are upon the season of change. And the pup dog here. What you doing now, pup, huh? Yeah. So look at this beautiful morning here. Look at that black ram truck over there that's now dead in the water. Can't drive it. Every time my channel knows that story. And geez, wow, it's just, it's just nice and warm. I mean, it's beautiful up here. It's just to be 70s, but it's got to, has some humature. So I put on a nice little jack. I don't know if I need it. What's the theme today, right? Look at all the Harley, Harley Davidson stuff everywhere. What happened to me? I mean, the Indian guy, the trader, the Indian man that bragged about the Indians being better than Harley all the time. Now he's riding Harleys. The guy that brags about the Fords all the time, now he's driving Rams. The guy that brags Mustangs all the time is now driving a Challenger and Charger. What does this guy do? What is this guy's message? I mean, this guy tells us stuff, but he does the opposite. The hypocrite. Come on, pups. Yeah, I've, I've mentioned that, you know, that, hey, do we call it the hypocrite channel? You know, don't do this, don't do that. Come on, puppies. Come on. And, uh... So, yeah, so anyways, <clears throat> everybody's following me along. Appreciate the uh, support and comments. Don't get a lot in all reality. <laughs> but you know, let me tell you something. The, uh, if your channel blows up and you get lots of comments, I, mean, I feel bad because there's people who make comments and sometimes they don't populate. And like I noticed a guy made a comment a while back about one of my, like seven months ago, five months ago. I just saw that comment. So if I'm that individual, it's like this guy just ignores everybody. And that's not good because if you're a YouTuber, you want to make the people feel like you're involved with them. Like these dogs who come out to my office every day and show up to work early. They're always on the job. Can't get my door to close. It's difficult here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, what a busy day I have. I have an extremely busy day because not only do I have to run a company, yes, I do run a company. And, see, he's ready for work. But, I believe it's Thursday, and I'm packing up to go to Tennessee. So we can do some uh, Smoky Mountain motorcycle ride. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's classic. I saw my wife on Monday. It was her idea, because my kid has Monday off in school, and my kid has Friday off in school. So my wife's like, hey, I want to go down and see my mom. That was on Monday. And all of a sudden, I told her money. It's like, well, let's make sure the kid gets off Monday. He's not one to drive down Tennessee just for a few days. So, sure enough, last night, I haven't mentioned it, that, hey, uh, we're going to Tennessee this weekend. And I didn't realize today is Thursday, last night, it was went. You know, so I'm like, oh, my God. So, that's a project. You know, what do I drive? What am I taking down, right? Well, anyways. To move on from that discussion for the moment, you can see more of that video later, the packing up and the adventures of what truck, vehicle, bikes. But you know, I get to think of myself, what would be the theme of the conversation today? And you know, for some reason, I guess the chess player popped in my head yesterday. And if anybody's following the chess, I'm not a chess person by any means, but if anybody's following the chess conversations, apparently the supposedly number one chess master of the world is just now they're coming to find out he's cheated they think he may have cheated a hundred times yeah so this this you know so what's the message of the day cheated cheated i thought to myself you know more than ever in our society and it's nothing new to mankind it's been around since mankind was uh has been here but i got to thinking cheated more than ever in our lifetime, it seems to be a very big problem. And that has such a broad aspect of our life. If you just kind of step back and think to yourself, cheat it. I mean, if you go back to the 2019 November elections, what did we hear 24-7? Cheat it, cheat it. You can go back to 2015 elections and same thing. Cheat it, cheat it, because, you know, whatever party loses, then starts the rhetoric of this voting system's corrupt, 
and it's cheated. You know, it just it doesn't matter, but it's powerful. I mean, to the point that this last sitting president got so revved up about this, the votes being cheated that you got people showed up on January 6th downtown that were just all felt they were so cheated so badly of their person they wanted to be elected that five, six hundred, eight, I think maybe 800 people are borderline in jail. Yeah, so that cheated, you know, that word cheated, it's it has broad implications. And I just think to myself, more than ever in our life, we're witnessing, you know, we're witnessing more than ever that you have crime and violence in our inner cities. What they're all claiming is at the all-time high. And you think to yourself, but why? You know, what's going on? Well, you kind of step back and look at people, and it's obvious people think they've been cheated. But it goes both ways. Meaning an individual thinks that they didn't get the opportunity they should have got, so they deserve to take something from somebody else because they were cheated. I mean, that's kind of the underlying tone of what happens when people cheat is they don't they feel like they're better than you or they feel like you, they just didn't get what they were supposed to be given. So they'll cheat to get what they want. They want. I mean, look at the illegal immigration in our country right now. Why are all these people coming from other countries to our country? Well, their feelings are, and, you know, if you really think about it, they feel like they've been cheated a life. They're living in a country where the government that, they're, that you know, dictates their lifestyle, they've been cheated in how they want to live and how the government should maybe treat them better. So they're coming here to our country because they feel that it won't be as cheated. And then if you look at, you can look at the car manufacturers, the car industry. You know, as an individual of a car person, you can look at yourself that goes to order a, a Ford Bronco. I mean, this is there's story after story in the Ford Bronco form that people think they've been cheated because they put an order in for their Bronco, but their Bronco never came. Or the stories of the Bronco came, and then the dealer wants a ton of money for it that they never agreed to even talk about. So that person feels like he's been cheated, that the dealer wants to mark it up to sell it to him. And, and so once again, the word cheated is, is a very broad, it's, it's everywhere around us. So I think more than ever, it seems like cheated is here more than ever. Look at Elon Musk. He proposed a $54, I believe, buyout of Twitter, but then he kind of pulled back. And it's kind of funny how that deal is going down because a lot of people opposed must get in it, but then they took a reverse that they're gonna make a bloody fortune off of them and they decided they better take the deal. But then Elon Musk felt like he was cheating himself because he didn't feel like this the number of subscribers of Twitter Twitter was factual. So he thought there were a lot of bots. And so then he kind of raised his hand thinking he's getting cheated for the value of the company that he thought he was gonna pay for isn't really the value he, he thought it was. And then you can go to like Tom Brady. Does anyone remember the uh, the football deflate, the deflate gate, where the uh, the Indianapolis Colts played the Patriots in a playoff game in a very cold day, and and the claim was that the Patriots had uh, manipulated the footballs where they deflated the balls so that Brady could hold the ball better to throw it. So there was a big investigation on the deflate football thing, which went on for years. Even to the point they took away Tom Brady's phone and borderline Tom Brady got suspended and blah, blah, blah. And, and so you, you, you just, where we are today, we just have this word. I don't think people really even really talk about it. I don't, I don't really even heard the media even talk about that more than ever, I feel in our society, we have the anger and the madness because so many people feel like they're being cheated. Look at the gas prices. If people go to the gas pumps. And they feel they're being cheated. And, and rightfully so, because they are. Because the stock traders are driving a barrel of oil up th that it's, it's not, it isn't what it is. It's, it's an inflated price just for greed. It's not the reality of the market being that demanding on fuel to the point that now OPEC yesterday just came to closure on a two million per day cutback in, in oil. Versus they were talking $1 million. So now they said they're going to cut it back $2 million. Well, why? Because OPEC feels like they're getting cheated for the value of their oil, and they want more. Yeah, so, I mean, more than ever, cheated is, a, is really is a powerful word 
but it's very expensive too. Look at a uh, look at the uh, the pandemic. Look how many people that were affected by the pandemic, especially small businesses. And you could talk to many small business owners, and they would tell you that they felt cheated because, as many know, all the big box stores stayed open. But if you were a small business, you couldn't stay open. Okay, but it made no sense that you had people going to Walmart and Target and Home Depot and Lowe's where you had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people walking out of the doors, these stores, and yet you had maybe just a very small business where you had select people just walking out of the door, not even a fraction, you know, just a fraction, and, and but you couldn't be open. I mean, wow. I mean, everybody kind of seems to forget those conversations. So if you're that individual... You felt you were cheated. If you're a restaurant owner and you didn't have takeout service, nor did you, you know, figure out how to get everybody to eat outside, yeah, uh, and you had to close your restaurant, you feel like you were cheated. And then you had people that lost their jobs because of the pandemic. Once again, they felt they were cheated. So I think to myself, right now, the media machine... And the media machine right now, is unfortunately, the elections are coming right up in November. And I think that more than ever, the underlying message is going to be you've been cheated. I mean, that's the way these politicians work. They're going to they're going to send a message to their base that if you don't vote for me and you vote for the other person, you're going to be cheated what you could have. Yes. I mean, that's really what goes on in people's emotional feelings of voting for somebody is they hear something and they feel like, oh yeah, they're, they're, you know, th there's a value. I've said this to anybody I know is that you know, the way us humans operate is, what's in it for me, for knowing you, you know, what what can you do for me? I mean, that's just how we operate. I mean, when you if you're dating a woman, dating a man, whatever the relationships are, whatever job, we always as an individual, you know, look at somebody and say, okay, what can they do for me? And I told my daughter that, I explained to her that, you know, as, as you get older in life, you need to be careful because the way humans operate is what benefit, what do you benefit me? And, and, and you know how powerful that is and how weak it is. Because if you're trying to get into, like for me, I've been in sales most of my career. If you're trying to get into, do business with somebody, you know, the business owners looks at me is like, you know, first it's like, I don't talk to that guy. And then if I even get to talk to a guy, I already know his his he's evaluating me, thinking, "What is this Iceman guy going to bring to me?" Because if he can't bring something to me, I don't have any. I have no. You know, you're not going to do business with that person. That's how you know. Once again, that's how we operate. Why do you go to the movies? You know, why do you go drive your really badass you know car? It's a dog world. You know, yeah, I mean, because, because it gives you something, no, no, because it gives you something in return, you know, so that, and that's how we, that's how we are, we, we buy a nice car, and we spend a lot of money for it, but we want to get in return something that makes us feel good about our decision, but at the same time, no, come on back here, no, but at the same time, when we get something and it doesn't give us what, what we want, we then feel cheated. Like there's an example, the Wall Street Journal just posted that GM technically just had a case won against them for $102 million for the 2010-2014 5.3-liter Chevy Vortec motor that had what the consumers claim is faulty ring piston designs that made the motor not run properly. But GM's already countersuing that or countering it. They're trying to appeal it. But apparently in Virginia, Ohio, and Washington, they those 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 individuals that filed a lawsuit against GM of the claims that motor not being built right lost. So GM right now, you know, the, the, you think they're going to pay a, the average person. It's like North Carolina. There's like three or four states that just won this lawsuit filed against Ford. And so apparently it's a $2,700 payout per individual. But Ford's already saying, nah, they didn't hear the facts. What these people are claiming is not correct, blah, blah, blah. So GM's fighting that. But the point is, here's a perfect example of people bought a Chevrolet vehicle that felt they got cheated. And for me, looking you know around where we are today more than ever, I think to myself, 
more than ever, we have conversations about electric vehicles and Ice Age vehicles. And the Ice Age community is saying, we're getting cheated. We're being cheated because we see how the governing bodies want to force us out of our ICE vehicles into electric vehicles. So at the other end, though, the, the EV people, the green people, their perception is they're, we're, we're, che we're cheating them of the future. They believe that since we want to continue to ride around these, you know, these vehicles that are polluting the world and doing uh, Mother Nature harm, they feel like, no, we're being cheated because you want to agree with us on what we feel is very, you know, strong evidence that the ICE vehicles ruin Mother Nature. It's going to ruin the future of the future generations of the world. Yeah, I mean, wow. So more than ever, I think that it's a dangerous time because the cheated, the, the cheated gets revved up. And I think that more than ever in our lifetime, the media machine is so dangerous because the underlying message is you've been cheated. And that's what drives people into the streets to do crazy things, is people feel like they weren't given what they were supposed to get. And with the fall elections upon us, I'll be amazed if the violence doesn't come back. I've, I've been saying, I think the hate... The hate of the media machines really get ratcheted up. I would guess it's going to be late October going into November that the hate machines are going to start riling people up because there's a party that doesn't want to lose control of the of this country right now. And and how do you how do you try to convince people to stay with you? Well, the message will be the underlying message will be that if you change parties, you're going to be cheated of what you deserve. Even though for people that voted in this current administration. I feel sincerely, and I said this a long time ago, that, that a lot of people would be cheated. And, you know, I'm not going to get into a politic, politics conversation in depth because it just turns into a political channel, and I don't want that. I want my theme to continue to talk about the cars, and that's what I'm saying. That more than ever, us Ice Age people, we feel that we're, getting, we're going to be cheated in the long run of the passion of the vehicles we like. And, and even add on top of that, more than ever, if you look at the manufacturing side, it's incredible. Ford just announced another price hike on the F-150 Lightning. So here a few, like two, three months ago, Ford announced a major price hike on the F-150 Lightning for the 2023 model. And now they're disclosing today that they're going to have to in include another price hike. So for me as an individual, you think to yourself, what is going on? You know, why, why is everything just getting so much more expensive? You know, what's, what, what is letting this happen? Is Ford feel like they're getting cheated? Are the suppliers in the marketplace feeling like they're getting cheated? I mean, so the people that provide the materials and sources, do they feel like they're being cheated from the wealth because other people make so much money off of this pandemic-related wealth explosion and... And I should say inflation explosion. I mean, everything's related to this pandemic. The virus went from being an, an us, to, which has gone now to the whole economy. You know, the economy now has the pandemic virus because everything's so expensive and out of control. So anyway, he's going to kind of keep it short this morning because uh, I got a lot to do. I've got a busy day. And I just thought to myself, others to, to think to themselves too, if you step back, and we look around, I think more than ever, people feel like they're being cheated. And if, especially if you're an individual that used to have assistance from the government that no longer gives you government assistance, meaning when the pandemic came in, many, many people were able to collect money because of pandemic-related challenges. You know, so do those people now feel like they've been cheated because of they were caught up in that whole pandemic you know, change of lifestyle. You know, to the people that were able to remotely work at home, they're now being forced to go back to work. Is their position they've been cheated because they could do their job at home, but now they have to go back to work and spend money to go back and forth to work, which you don't want to do. I mean, uh, if you go down the list of the vaccine mandates, that's a big conversation now that so many employers were enforcing the vaccine, but now they've backed off. But yet many people were forced out because they didn't take the vaccine. So you know as well as I do, the people that lost their jobs during the 
they, you know, some companies forcing people to get vaccines and want to get them, they lost their job. Don't you think they feel that they've been cheated? So I think what I'm trying to resonate more than ever, I think there's a lot of people that have a lot of anger stored up in them because they feel like they've been cheated. And I think this pandemic magnified it. I think more than ever in our lifetime, the pandemic magnified that cheated feeling. And I think there's a lot of anger and people don't like that. So it's going to be a very interesting time here coming November. It's really going to be very interesting. You know, it do, does, is there going to be a change out in the house? I mean, that's a speculation until you see it, you leave it. What are those new house members that come in that have more power? Do they give back to the people who felt they were cheated? You know, another opportunity? I don't know. You know, does the car market finally calm down to where so many people right now feel like they've been cheated because the cars have gotten so expensive? I mean, yes. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are sitting on sidelines. Housing, you know, rents have gone through the roof. I mean, it's just incredible. And it seems like the cheating always relates back to the money factor. I mean that's just how it operates. That's how we. That's how we are as a as a as a world that operates. It's all around the money. It's always about the money. All right, everybody. I appreciate everybody for watching my channel and hope that uh, information made you just kind of step back and look around and guarantee you you yourself can relate with you've been cheated. You can look at other people. You know people have been cheated on and have you know ceased or marriages and relationships. I mean, this goes on and on and on. It's just incredible. But you don't hear a lot about the media, the general media talking about how more than ever, I think that a lot of people feel like they've been cheated. Yes. And if you don't talk about it, that's what they say. You, know, you need to talk about it because when you talk about it, hopefully you can release that anger and frustration and you can come to closure of, of, of understanding you know, maybe when I tell people all the time, I'm such a believer that things happen for a reason. Some people hate that. I mean, I, 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 I hate that saying, but I'm a person in life that so sure I believe that sometimes things happen for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes in the end, you're like, wow, that was actually a favor to me that that person cheated. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching YouTube Ice Age TV. And maybe I'll show some videos of me packing up and Get which truck do I take? The Ram, the Raptor? I don't know. You see my life. If you watch my channel, what's my challenge? When I get out of bed in the morning, which car am I going to drive? <laughs> yeah. And at one point, I had a car for every day of the month. Now I have a car for a few days every day of the month, and I switch out, right? Yeah, yeah. Poor me. If I count the motorcycles, maybe I do have a vehicle every day for the month. Wow, that's crazy. All righty. God bless, stay safe, and we'll post more videos here shortly.